I'm tracking the latest on Hurricane Melissa, a Category 5 storm just south of Jamaica right now. I have the latest details coming up right now on Jason Nappy Weather. Let's get into the forecast. I'll answer your questions as we get through the next few minutes. Uh, but this storm looks about as worse as it's going to be. And it's not just about the look, right? But that's a big part of it, right? Anytime in Mother Nature you see a storm that looks perfect, then that's Mother Nature at her worst, okay? Because when things look perfect in the weather, they basically take on a, a perfect shape. Okay, that's the most power you can get from a storm. And this storm is still strengthening. It is now dropped to 906 millibars. That is fancy meteorology for an extremely strong storm, especially in the Atlantic Basin. Now, the Caribbean Sea is quite deep and it's quite warm. So that's where the energy, that's the engine for the storm right now. Okay, the wind shear that would tear this storm apart is basically non-existent. And when a storm gets this strong, it starts to do whatever it wants to do. And what Melissa is doing is what it wants to do right now. It's wobbling just a little bit, okay? There are some eddies there uh, in the storm where, you know, obviously in the Caribbean Sea where the water temperature is going to be a degree or two warmer or cooler. But generally what you're looking at here is a storm that's starting to wobble to the west and now it's starting to come northwest because off to the west there is a ridge that is going to fall apart from a trough coming in, okay, from the north, and the door will be opened to go around a ridge. I'll show you all this on the maps in a second. It's gonna go and escape the north. So you're going to see here the wind and the projected landfall, which is right now gonna be the western side of Jamaica. So that's good news for Kingston, bad news for Montego Bay. Okay, Montego Bay on the western side, Kingston on the eastern side, the capital, right? So. Uh, Anyone in Kingston right now, you would get the, the potentially the least amount of wind. If it goes west, it keeps this trend to the west. But in Montego Bay and points just east of that, you would get the worst part of the wind. Now, Kingston is still going to get 30 inches of more rainfall on top of what you've already had. So it's still going to be catastrophic in Kingston. But as far as just Category 5 wind damage wiping out, you know, entire areas like half the island, Kingston could be spared. Now, I want to get into it in more detail here and show you the wobble, okay? So here is the storm, and right around the center, right here, is where you're going to have, you got your hurricane force wind. I'll get to this in more detail, okay? It's a very compact Category 5. It's not generally that big because... Iowa replacement cycle has not happened, okay? When that happens, the storm gets larger and it, it can basically hold or get a little weaker. So it has not gotten a new eye wall. It's still very compact, but that's still bad news because the areas around that one eye wall that it has could really be devastated tremendously here. So where you're seeing the brighter colors here are the cloud tops here, the northeastern and eastern eye wall, and here's the southwestern eye wall, okay? Well, those cloud tops are getting up to more than negative 80 to negative 90 below Celsius. That shows thunderstorms firing up very high up in the sky. Very high, okay? So the worst of this storm right now is on the south side and northeast side, okay? And to point that out and to verify that, not really ground truth, but as close as you're going to get with this, is that the hurricane hunters that fly into these storms to get all this data and drop the instruments in there and measure the wind had to leave because... There's so much turbulence, I believe they said the southwest side of this storm, that they had to leave. And that rarely happens, but it is a Category 5, you know, hurricane. So, obviously, well within the realm of possibility. So, there is the latest there. Now, this just came in a couple minutes ago, 2 o'clock Eastern Time, okay, from the National Hurricane Center in Miami. So, I'll show you this now uh, in more detail. Here's the update that just came in, okay. This storm right here. Um, is now 145 miles to the southwest of Kingston. 325 miles southwest of Guantanamo, Cuba, okay? So it's south of Cuba, south of Jamaica, obviously closer to Jamaica. The max sustained wind is 175. That's sustained, basically like a three-second wind, okay? 175. 
Uh, to get to a Category 5, I think it's 155, 156, doesn't really matter. It's right around there, right? Like it, It's irrelevant where it is, 155-ish. It's 175. It's 20, about 20 miles an hour more than what you'd need for sustainment. This is not even the wind gust, okay? Uh, movement here, important, west-northwest at 3 miles an hour. So it's just moving very slowly, but it has begun that northwest and that north turn, okay? The pressure is 906. We'll get to that in a second because that is record-breaking uh, for the Atlantic Basin. It's, I think it's the fourth lowest all time. So there's all the data here from the Hurricane Center, okay, from the storm. Um, it, it is really as bad as it can get. The, the hurricane force wind extends 30 miles because it's not that, that big of a storm for hurricane force. Tropical storm, though, is up to 195 miles out from the center, okay? And there is that pressure, 906 millibars, okay? Uh, so there's going to be a tremendous amount of wind, that's going to be catastrophic, life-threatening. Rainfall for the whole island, basically, 30 inches more from when it already fell. And storm surge is going to be 9 to 13 feet at, at max when the next advisor comes in in three hours. Okay, so here's the hurricane hunters that flew into the storm, through this cross-section, to find the pressure, the strength of the storm, to find the wind speed. And where you're seeing here... Okay, you've got your hurricane force, okay? Um, and then in here, you've got your category five anytime you go to this shade here, okay, down here. So more than 137 uh, knots, okay? So that is the actual ground truth. Obviously, they're not on the ground, right? But really more important. So with hurricanes, you've got wind, you've got storm surge, you've got rain, okay? You've got all those things. I'm going to focus in on the wind right now in the landfall. So this is uh, Tuesday morning at about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. So 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning. Here it is beginning to make that landfall. Remember, you got to get that eye to go on shore. Okay. And there it is. There's Jamaica right here. Okay. And here is the, the landfall from the storm. Here is your, here is your storm right here down to 905. This is a computer forecast. This storm is still strengthening. It could go below 900 millibars in the next few hours before we get into the nighttime hours. Certainly could happen, okay? You have got your hurricane force wind, okay? Uh, and you've got your category five force wind right here. And there is the storm as it will be moving, once again, slowly up to the north. It is going to happen. This is a certainty. At this point, this is not... People asking me, are, you know, is it being hyped up? Is it going to weaken? Is it going to go left or right? No, it, at this point, the, the, the models are not going to be wrong at this point. It is going to make landfall tomorrow in Jamaica as a Category 5. I would be shocked if it dropped down even to a 4. It is so strong right now. In order for this thing to drop down to a 4 even, it would have to have an eyewall replacement cycle. Okay, this high eyewall would have to basically fall apart and a new one would form and it would become a bigger storm but not necessarily as stronger right it would become it would kind of basically get to its peak and then kind of fall off from there it's not going to get stronger after it does an eye wall replacement cycle because there's not enough room before now in landfall where it hits the mountains in jamaica where it is going to weaken so the answer would be the worst case scenario is if it doesn't do a replacement cycle it doesn't get a new eye wall and the worst scenario would be if it holds its strength and goes into Jamaica tomorrow morning as a Cat 5 at 170, 175. I mean, I, I you know, like to even not even believe that 200 miles an hour is even potential, but um, it is certainly possible. So the steering currents with this storm here, I want to show you here. You've got your trough that is over the southeast U.S., okay? Well, pretty weak trough here. You've got a ridge here. You've got a ridge here, okay? Here is Melissa. This ridge is going to be falling apart. This trough comes in, and this will open the door, okay? As this trough comes in from the west here, this will open the door, and here's your escape hatch for Melissa to go around this ridge. They like to go around the ridge, right? It doesn't really steer it. It goes around. Remember, hurricanes take the path of least resistance. The job of a hurricane, a tropical storm, is to take latent heat from the equator and pull it to the pole. That's the job. It's, it's not climate change. It's not 
It's not man-made. It, that is the job of a hurricane, of a tropical storm. It is a natural occurrence. It is to bring this heat down in the equator north, or in the other case, southern hemisphere south, the south pole. But this case, we're going to the north pole. So this storm is going to move. Watch here. You call them steering currents, but really it becomes the path of least resistance, okay? So this is now uh, Tuesday. Here is your ridge that is fairly strong here. Here is your digging trough that is basically opening the door now. That ridge that was over here is gone, right? So that's why it heads north and it now exits to the northeast and goes over Cuba on Wednesday because of the exit strategy that it has. It wants to take that latent heat to the north here. It barrels over Cuba and then by Thursday, it is on top of Bermuda as a category one, maybe a cat two, but probably a category one. And then this trough pulls the moisture north up towards New England and it get in New Jersey and New York and New England on Thursday and Friday. Okay, so let's look at the specifics now here. And I'll, I'll take a look um, at, at the chat here for a second. Let's take a look here at, at chat. Um, if anyone's got any, any questions here on chat, go ahead and let me know. Oh, before, before I get to that, let me show you this here. So um, Hurricane Melissa's pressure have dropped to 906, the fourth lowest for an October Atlantic hurricane on record. You remember Wilma in 2005, which was devastating, put a tree through my dad's house in South Florida. Milton, this is last year, 895. Mitch, remember Mitch, very strong, 905, okay? Our records go back to 1979. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how strong this storm is right now in the Caribbean. It's very late in the season right now, but these things do happen. So here is Kingston, okay, right here on the eastern side of the island, and here's Montego Bay. So this storm goes right now, landfall on the southwest side of Jamaica. Okay, I'll zoom in so you can see it closer, okay? Now, obviously, the landfall could be anywhere here inside this cone, but... But right now, Black River, Bluntlers, and then Montego Bay, which is obviously the northwest side over here, okay? Potentially, right now, if it goes to that wobble, it could take the, on the northwest side to the western side of the island, okay? So Kingston would be spared the worst of it as far as wind. You'll still get everything else, okay? You get tremendous surge in Kingston, but Montego Bay would get worse wind. You'd be right on the edge there of the Category 5 wind, which would basically wipe everything off of Montego Bay completely, you know, destroy Montego Bay if it continues to wobble west, okay? Anyone in the Category 5 uh, circle of this storm is going to see everything go. Everything. Just completely gone. So here is the look at the rainfall for the next three days. So on top of what's already fallen, you see the rainfall here, uh, 30 plus inches in the pink in most of the an island of Jamaica, almost the entire island. Uh, Montego Bay, not as much, okay, but but still, that is a, a tremendous amount uh, of rainfall, an additional, which already happened. And then Cuba gets it, and then the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos gets very lucky, very lucky, um, but the Bahamas uh, still do get it, okay? So then here is a look at the uh, tropical storm and hurricane force wind history. So in this orange shade, that's the tropical storm wind. Here's the hurricane wind south of Jamaica. So Jamaica has not seen hurricane force wind yet, but you will. Here is the forecast taking it over Jamaica. The entire island of Jamaica gets tropical storm force wind and nearly and probably gets hurricane force wind the entire island too, okay? So it is going to be incredibly bad for the whole island of Jamaica. Once again, here it is, the forecast. I'm going to take you over. I'm going to superimpose and uh, tropicaltidbits.com has a great site. Um, this is superimposed. So this shows the wind going over the western side. Now, with the wobble back and forth, this storm goes west or east, but basically Montego Bay gets the worst of it in Jamaica. Kingston, Jamaica, back here, does not get the worst of it if it goes on the western side of the, of the island. And it's a close call. You'll still get the flooding in Kingston, but you would not get the wind that Montego Bay gets, okay? Uh, Black River, that, that would get the worst of the wind. So uh, I thank you so much here for, for, for watching this forecast here. And it will reemerge in the Caribbean, go over Cuba, and then the Bahamas, west of Turks and Caicos, um, and then gets up, you know, close to Bermuda would be right here. This is 
uh, Thursday. It's right around Bermuda on Thursday. Okay, so um, I thank you so much. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them into chat. I will I will try and, and get to those. I appreciate those so much here. Um, you know, anything you can do to to get me get me the obviously the the questions. I'm happy to answer them even after the broadcast ends. But I am live talking about uh, Melissa and the latest details here um, in the chat room. So I you know I, I once again thank you so much for being here and participating. I'm breaking it down here for you um, and going through all this stuff. I'm going to take a look at the questions we have right now. Um, Melissa, Meriwether Smith, thank you, thank you. Uh, prayers for Jamaica. Um, yeah, I don't know how long, Diane, they're going to be able to return to the island, you know, and hopefully everyone gets away from this and doesn't try and ride this out because uh, in, in Kingston, even in Kingston with, and I've walked up the river, okay? There's, there's a big river in Jamaica. I've walked up it, okay? And you can climb up it, walk up it, climb up it. Um, it's beautiful there. The people there are very kind. Uh, and I've been to Montego Bay and been to Kingston and, it, you know, beautiful place, very nice people, but uh, this is going to be devastating for them, okay? The infrastructure is going to be wiped out from this storm. There, there's, no, there's no way it doesn't. Anything in the Category 5 part of the storm is going to be wiped out because this storm right now is very compact. It needs to do an Iowa replacement cycle to have any shot that it's going to drop even 20 miles an hour, but it's still probably going to be a high four or, or a low end five if that happens. And that right now, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. It looks like it's going to come in as a five, okay, which is catastrophe. Um, it doesn't get worse than that. There's nothing worse than catastrophe. You can't get past catastrophe. So um, that's the latest details here on the forecast. I thank you so much for being here. Um, I will continue to watch this. Can make sure you're following along on Facebook, on jasonnappyweather.com, um, on Patreon, uh, on everything, because I have the latest details on the storm coming up tonight. And then again tomorrow as it makes landfall tomorrow morning. And uh, excuse me, and the latest details will be right here on uh, Facebook and Jason Nappy Weather. So I thank you uh, so much for being here. Um, hope you have a, a great rest of your day. Um, and we will we will talk soon.